Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Unacademy Nate English channel. I hope all of you are doing great. Have a good time. So my dear students, there are some basic small small queries which students must be getting in this preparation phase. I thought of making a small video in which I'll, to co I'll try to cover all the small small basic queries which you all must be getting throughout this preparation, right? And I'm not going to take more than 5 to 10 minutes, right? So let me directly get into the business. The first and the most common question which students must be getting at this particular point of time. Is it possible to score good from YouTube? Is YouTube enough to crack NEET 2024 examination? My dear students, let me tell you, YouTube is one amazing platform of learning. There is only one drawback which I see in it. That is not the drawback of YouTube. That is your drawback, basically. Well, my dear students, one important drawback, that is students, they do not remain consistent throughout the preparation phase if they are getting trained from YouTube, basically. Students, they do not remain disciplined all the time. They do not follow the weekly targets, basically. So this is the... Most important thing which you have to take into consideration if you are, if you are willing, if you are willing not to take any paid batch, if you are willing to get trained from YouTube, my dear students, you have to remain consistent all the time. Okay, you have to follow your teachers blindly. Perfect. And let me tell you one more important thing. What exactly happens if you remain inconsistent during the preparation phase on YouTube? Automatically, your teachers they also become disinterested at time. Right? So if you really want to score well through YouTube lectures, my dear students, the first and the most important thing is you have to remain consistent and disciplined all the time. Number one. Number two. This is again one important question which students must be facing at this particular point of time. How to select the teachers on YouTube? Right? Since you must be knowing there are almost like five to six dedicated channels for the need preparation on YouTube particularly. Right? Now, which channel to follow? How exactly you are going to decide which teacher to follow? My dear students, the answer is very simple. For example, I'll give you one scenario. Let's say you watch one of my lecture on this particular channel. One of my lecture, right? Okay, then do one thing. Go to one more channel. See the same lecture of another teacher, right? For example, you saw my mole concept lecture one. Check one more teacher. Check his mole concept lecture one. Check one more teacher. Check his mole concept lecture one. From the first lecture itself, you'll understand from where you are getting everything, from where you are getting the quality content, from where all the concepts are getting cleared, and from where all the problem patterns are being discussed. Then it's completely your choice to select a teacher, right? Wherein who whosoever is going to provide the quality content, basically, right? It's I mean you guys are going to take the call on this, right? You guys are not going to trust anyone blindly first do some research right for example check physics lecture one on this channel check physics lecture one on one more channel one more channel compare them compare them it's completely your your choice right you're not paying anything correct it's completely your choice to select the like, uh, teachers what all parameters you have to think on which you'll decide basically number one you have to see whether all the concepts are being touched if not all the frequently asked questions, the frequently asked concepts, you need to check whether they are getting touched in the lecture or not. Number one, you need to check whether majority of the problem patterns are being covered in the lecture or not. These are the two important things which you have to focus on, right? Number two, are YouTube lectures sufficient? My dear students, absolutely YouTube lectures are sufficient. But apart from YouTube lectures, you have to do a few more things as well, right? You have to solve the study material, you know it. Perfect. And you have to solve the same study material many a times instead of following many books on a particular subject. Perfect. So YouTube lectures are really well when it comes to the information. Yes, absolutely you'll be getting the information. But after that you have to exert on your own. Perfect. YouTube lectures absolutely are sufficient when it comes to lectures basically. When it comes to the information. Perfect. But after that you have to exert yourself also so that I mean, all the concepts which you study from YouTube exactly, right? All those concepts gets properly covered, 
in a simplified manner with all the problems, with the study material, everything, right? One more important question which students must be facing, whether we should consult one shots or detailed marathons. My dear students, you approximately have got some nine months left till your examination. And I would suggest not to watch those one shots in which one chapter gets completed in one hour. Do not do that. Those one shots are basically for the revision purpose. And right now you are not doing any revision. You are studying, right? You are studying something in the detailed format. So I would want you guys to check, to go for the detailed marathon. Check those marathons in which one chapter at least, at least is getting covered in six to seven hours minimum. Okay. You need to consult those lectures only, right? If you do not, I mean, there are other lectures as well on YouTube, wherein one chapter is getting covered in 11 to lectures. I do not, I mean, that, I mean, through that, you consume your more time, basically. In order to save your time, just go for the detailed marathon of a particular chapter, in which one chapter is done in a single lecture or maximum two or two lectures, right? The duration should be approximately six to eight hours, I must say. Do not consult those one shots at this particular point of time, wherein one chapter is getting completed in one or two hours. Do not do that at all. Perfect. One more important thing which students must be getting. Why test series? My dear students, if you are getting trained from YouTube, first of all, you have to remain consistent, you have to remain disciplined, so that you remain disciplined as well as your teachers remain disciplined too. Right? And your teachers will remain only disciplined if, if you remain disciplined. Let me tell you that honestly. Perfect. And after watching the lectures, after completing a particular chapter, you have to go for the mock test. You have to follow the chapter-wise mock test because chapter-wise mock tests only are going to let you know about your weaknesses. Perfect. They'll make you exam friendly basically. Perfect. They'll help you exactly in like how to sit in the examination center. You'll get all that thing by writing lots of mock tests, my dear students. Perfect. One more most common question which students must be getting whether we should follow one particular channel or we should follow multiple channels. My dear students, it's completely your choice. For example, for example, on this particular channel, let's assume you're, you're understanding only biology properly. Let's assume that. It's not necessary to go for physics and chemistry on this channel, let's say, right? Or for example, you're studying, you're, I mean, you're getting only physics properly on this channel, or you can get chemistry only properly in this particular channel, right? Whatever subject you're getting properly on this particular channel, just follow that subject. Let's assume you're getting physics properly on this particular channel. You need not to study biology and chemist chemistry on this channel then. You can consult some other channels for biology, for physics, for chemistry, right? It's not necessary that you have to follow one particular channel only. But if you're getting all the three subjects at one place, that is like cherry in the, uh, at the top of the cake. Perfect, right? So. It's not necessary to follow one particular channel. You can consult many channels as well, right? One chapter from, uh, from one channel. I mean, one subject from another channel, one subject from another channel, you can do that as well. But again, I'm telling you, if all the things you're getting at one place, that is nothing like that, right? So these are some most common questions which I thought you might be thinking. So I thought of making one small video on this, right? So that you can address all your doubts through this particular video, right? And at the same time, ideal students, one more amazing information, right? On this particular channel, two days back, I have launched the NEET 2024 All India Test Series, basically, right? In which a lot of students have already enrolled, right? You guys can still enroll in 24 tests in total, right? I have given the syllabus in the last video, which I took on this channel. You can consult that video and enroll, enroll into the mock tests, enrolled in the All India Test Series for the NEET 2024 students. Perfect. That's one of the finest test series which you can ever have. Perfect. So link is there in the description box of the video. Or if you want more details on this test series, check my last video, which I've taken on this particular channel. And absolutely, you're going to love all the information which I've given there. Perfect. And at the same time, on this particular channel, we are dedicatedly following the NEET Con Conquer Batch for 2024 and even 2025 students. I hope you guys are following those lectures properly with 100% honesty, right? Because all the things which are required for the competitive examination to be qualified, all those things are getting covered properly with the weekly targets. We provide you the weekly targets and we accomplish them, right? So let's catch up tomorrow at 5 p.m. with the chemical bonding lecture two, in which we shall be completing the whole chemical bonding. Already I've taken one lecture day before, I mean, two, three days back, right? In which half of the chapter I have completed. The next half we are going to complete tomorrow. And after chemical bonding, we shall be going into thermodynamics, my dear students, right? So with this, I'll be taking a leave. Take care. God bless you all and love you all. Bye-bye.